Hey, you're looking for a my protein impact weight isolator review, aren't you? Well, I just want you to know that you're in the right place, so stick around. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the second instalment of the My Protein review series that I'm doing. And in today's video, we have the My Protein Impact Weight Isolate Protein Shake to review. And yes, it does come in strawberry, which I'm really excited about, by the way, to try. So anyway, without rambling on too much, let's go straight to it. Now, just like my last video where I did the normal Impact Weight review, Today I'm going to be doing the exact same, but first, let's look at the difference between the regular impact way and the isolate, and what does it all mean exactly? Okay, so according to Google, the impact way, which for the record is a concentrate, is basically a less filtered or broken down version of the isolate, meaning that the isolate compared to the concentrate will simply absorb quicker into your body. However, looking at it from a health standpoint, with the isolate being more broken down, it does contain more protein but it loses more of the nutrition through the processing. If you are lactose intolerant, this is good for you because the processing of the protein removes it. But at the end of the day, it's all down to you and what your goal is to decide whether you want an isolate or a concentrate. So I'll leave that one with you anyway, guys, as I feel it was more important to get that information across before moving on. So now let's get to the nutritional content. And just like the other impact way, this has a one scoop equals one serving equation. So basically per serving, you'll be getting only 93 calories, 0.1 grams of fat, which isn't even worth counting to be honest, 0.6 grams of carbohydrates, again, not worth considering. And last but not least, a massive 23 grams of protein. So comparing it to the concentrate and taking down the knowledge that we gained from what I said before, it's good to know that the isolate will contain more protein and less of everything else, meaning that you can easily choose which one is the best for you based upon your goal, whether that be build muscle or lose fat. Moving on to the ingredients list now, and just like our last review, I'll place this screenshot here of the strawberry one, which is the one that I've got today, so you guys can look at it because each one may vary depending upon the flavour. So next we have the cost, and if we take a look, as you remember from our other protein review, the pattern seems to follow suit in the terms that the unflavoured one is the cheapest, whereas the one with the flavours are more expensive. So looking at this screenshot, the smallest size bag is the cheapest and ranging all the way up the scale to the biggest bag with the added flavour. And now put them next to each other and we can see that the cheapest is £18.89p and the most expensive one is £74.69p. Which to be honest is a fairly big jump but this directly relates back to it being an isolate because obviously it takes more work to make it so it's going to be more expensive. And with that price being what it is you'll still get a fairly decent amount of servings per bag because as mentioned before each serving is a single scoop giving you 200 for a big bag which is still really good value for money. Now let's see how well it mixes. And again, to keep things simple, I'll be using water in this in a shaker cup. Mmm, that smells really good this does. Proper strawberry. Just like a uh, strawberry cake mix. Very good. Anyway, away we go. So after a quick 10 second shake, 
you can see it has no lumps really. Yeah, there are a few tiny little bits, but it's nothing major that'll make you gag. So we can say that it does mix pretty well. Cheers. <sighs> now this was a very nice taste for a strawberry. I know that I certainly enjoyed it, and it was definitely better than the last one, put it that way. So would I have it again? Yes I would, because it tastes really good, it mixes well and despite being a tad on the pricey side for the biggest bag, I know that it's still good value for money with over 200 servings because it literally would last for months, which is brilliant. Okay, so this is the end of the review everyone. If you would like to know where you can find more out about this product in today's video, there's a link to the website in the description below. Also guys, if you have any questions regarding this protein shake that I didn't answer in the review, please feel free to ask me in the comments below and I will get back to you on that. But until the next time everyone, I'll see you later.